Hey guys, so I've seen lots of different um, awesome things happening in Bitmoji classrooms. So I wanted to share with you how you can publish to the web and how you can make sure that your links um, work. So a couple of things. This is my kind of my one-stop shop for digital resources help desk. So once in here, each one of these is actually a clickable link. But if you notice though, if a kid just clicks in the frame, that's where the link would work. But if they clicked on the inside where this extra picture is, if I had not added the link, it would not work. So say that they had come to this spot and they clicked on this right here. Well, there's no link, but the computer is a link. So I want to make sure that I add links to everything. My shortcut to add a link is Control K. Once I have it there, Control K, I have it ready. So I go and push apply. So this way, whenever they touch anything inside this area, it's going to take them to this um, certain video. So once I have finished and I'm ready to publish this or make sure to send it out to kids, there's a couple of things I can do. I can download it as a PDF. I've tried the JPEG. The picture looks great, but my links are not interactive. So once I choose um, file um, download uh, PDF, I can open this up and sure enough, my links work. So here's my reader's advisory. The other thing I can do is I can choose file and I come down here to publish to the web. Now I've already published this. So if I grab this link right here, because you, it asks you to publish it, um, I, and I can also stop publishing it, but I don't want to. I've grabbed this link right here. I can shorten it or I can put it to Google Classroom. I can send it as an email. Um, but what if they click on that link, it takes them to my digital resource help desk. So on my digital resource help desk, it has a video on how to access all of our digital resources and eBooks. It has, this is a link to actually, um, it's a virtual help desk that we have for our district. And this is the book recommendation form. So once kids have actually filled out the book recommendation form, I then give them three book um, examples and I email them. And when I email them, this is just a sample is this, this is a book recommendations. I put who it's for. I have these links go automatically back to our website and um, our materials and eBooks. So then I do the same thing. I compose an email, I download it as a PDF. I add the PDF to it. And I also download, I also publish it to the web. So students can click on the link and go directly to their um, virtual eBooks recommendations for reader advisory. So that's how I do it. I either download as a PDF or, and I also save it as a, um, I also publish it to the web. I'm also keeping all of these so I can kind of remember what I'm doing. I have one for each grade level. So if I went to sixth grade, it would have all the different books I've recommended and they each have their own different slide. Might I change it later? Possibly. But for right now though, it kind of helps me keep track of who has um, been interested in what books and who's, what books I've sent out as recommendations.